Hello my little geese and hello Patty. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamily and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to reach 3 star in no time. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Patty. So today I'm gonna teach you how to reach 3 star in no time so you can start waterscaping and terraforming on your islands. And the first prerequisite you need is to have your resident service in break mode there is a way to have the resident service intent and have the terraforming tools but for that you need to do it from the beginning so if you're not flowing through a normal island then you can do it otherwise it is not possible to have the terraforming from start from fresh you need to start to get your resident service in break mode and that is after your tree first villager moves in like the the tree first where you place the plot and you decorate and then once you have the resident service in brick Tom Nook is all excited about project K so what is happening is that you are gonna be getting a campsite to place and get your first campsite villager on your island and that is mandatory and then once you have six villager on your island i have eight but six is the minimum to be able to reach to three stars otherwise isabel is gonna tell you there is not enough people eight villagers is the minimum for the five stars so you're not obliged to get 10 villagers on your island ever then you got you go inside your resident service and you are gonna have to talk a bit with Tom Nook so he can unlock the island Eval. And I'm gonna skip it right now because I haven't done it before. So let's go check with Isabel what is our Eval right now. But it's probably low. So let's talk about island Eval. This is the first, the first pointer in the list. And she is gonna explain to me what it is but it basically is just a system of points that is not what she's saying but behind the scenes this is just a system of points and the decoration and the nature that is is like just bringing some points to your island so now we have a two-star rating just because we have enough villagers on our island and so it says that right now we are lacking appealing scenery and that means there is not enough item like we need to have basic decoration and that is a point I wanted to get to you with is that we have some basic steps that we can follow to make this island a three star island really quickly so once you have your six villagers and your campsite and everything you are just gonna get a few items and trees so the first thing i can only encourage you to do is to place some fencing so you got a stack of fencing from tom nook in the very beginning of the game so let's go fetch it and then let's place those fences so I am going to be placing all of my fences. It doesn't matter where they are, how they are, if they are spread or anything. Usually I use my fences to put in prison my campsite villagers. So really it doesn't matter where you place your items. The What matters is the quantity. You need to have fencing on your island otherwise Isabel is gonna tell you it is missing some fences that is basically what I start with placing fences all over my island and I'm gonna be skipping this tedious task and I'll meet you whenever I am done placing everything so another trick that is fairly easy is to plant some cedar trees. You don't want to grab the one that are on top of your island. You kind of want to grab some new cedar trees. It is fairly easy to blend them from from the saplings, you know, that you buy at the nook crannies. But I got some cedar trees that are just grown up because i find it easier this way i just gathered them but it is fairly easily to plant some cedar trees all around the bottom part of your island do not like put them again on your cliffs there are enough over there you just want to to 
plant a couple of them so you have a mix if you can try to also add some fruit trees that is also some easy points get, um, going so i have planted i think one fruit tree fruit trees like i have peaches and some oranges as well so i, I started planting those as they are also bringing a bit of points so you really want to decorate to add as many stuff on your island but do not put too much trees because if you have too much trees in one area then Isabel is not gonna be happy either you have to fall into some limitations and also you want to stick to have some places on your island so yet yeah, that you can place also some objects because objects as it might be a shocker are the items that bring you the most point on your island so leave some room for some items and if you don't know the items they work also on a point system as well and the point system is that the outdoor item like some items that were made for outdoors like the castle gate or um i don't know I do like I, I do like to work with the the ma magical pond. What is it called? I don't I forgot the name of that item. Oh my gosh! But yeah, those items like bikes, um, anything that is like for the outside, not a bed, for example. A bed is is typically not made for the inside. They bring you more points. What does also bring you more points is. A huge item an item that is gonna take four squares is gonna bring you more points than an item that is taking only one square of of size on your island so I tend to see my island as just a grid you know where you can dig up holes is equals to one square of the grid and so an item that would take up to four holes on your island would be four square items so this is what I'll be doing once I am done planting my cedar trees but I swear planting cedar trees is important I have done tests before and if you don't add your some cedar trees on the bottom part of your island you can place as many items as possible it is not gonna work so this is my trick to really do not skip do not skip cedar trees days <laughs> and i think i have enough this way but i am never sure so i just add two rows of inventory for like a point of comparison i try to to use two rows of inventory and i think that is more than enough cedar trees but of course i don't have like a super computer in my head so i actually don't know how many stars i have like i don't think i have improved my reading as i was telling you we are still waiting for the items to be placed so now that i have planted my cedar trees i am gonna try to start to place my items and so i am starting with those huge items i was telling you about like this glowing moss pond and i'm also placing a lot of castle gate castle towers and sadly i do not have enough to upgrade my inventory to the like very max of it so it is gonna take me a multiple time by the way i am not very sure if removing some weeds has an influence on your score i do not believe so because you can have weeds on your actual island and it is not gonna drop the score from like five stars so i don't think so but anyway you do remove them to place your huge items are they are as they are quite important so i am just gonna drop them all over my island i try to put them kind of in a fairly amount of space like not cluttered in one space i try to put them everywhere on my island so that the rating is like kind of even and this is what i just start doing and oh my gosh look at ed this is the wish edition of Julian that we got in the campsite. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what I'm gonna be doing. I will pick it up with you when I am done placing everything on my island. And I will check my scores with you to see how far we went and how much we still have to accomplish. 
So I tried to cover my whole island with some castle towers and some glowing moss ponds and by the way i realized that the castle towers are super pricey so if you are especially doing the horde mode challenge where you cannot really cheat or exchange with people and stuff i fairly understand that so maybe what you can replace the castle towers with is some giant vines that you can grab easily if you have hhp that is something that you can fairly try to do um otherwise yeah try like it's just gonna require you more and more items if you cannot access those huge big items here i have placed almost a full inventory if i had like my full the four rows of inventory then this is more or less what i placed on my island so let's go check the score so I'm checking with Isabel how far we are to see if we need to add more. Maybe flowers is something I also forgot to add a bit more. So let's see my evaluation. We are still at two stars, but what are, is she saying? So we need to upgrade the natural environments. And I think that means I forgot to add some flowers. That is something that can help. To plant some flowers and by the way the same as trees you do not want to have too many flowers or too many trees because at one point you get negative scores but i mean you still have a long way before before you reach that point so i'm gonna grab some flowers and i'll i'll be back so i have with me some green mums that i really want to grow on my island anyway so that i can so that I can use them on my on my builds because I find the green mums are just adorable. They're one of the cutest plants ever after the white cosmos in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place some flowers here and there and I think I have an inventory. I am not too sure how many I must have but just like gonna put them everywhere on my island. By the way, sometimes you do not aim at having three stars because whenever you're hanging between the evil and you don't unlock terraforming, your villagers keep on giving you gifts. Once they know that you're trying to achieve three stars to un to make KK come have a concert on your island, villagers are so excited they start to give you so many gifts. So if you want that aspect, do not rush for three stars. Do not really go check your eval, even if you reached it a long time ago, because they will keep on giving you gifts again and again, like here Ed is gonna be doing. Oh my gosh, and already we have three stars. So one inventory of objects, one inventory of flowers, and then two rows of inventory of trees, cedar trees, and boom, look at this. We have already achieved three stars and it did not take me more than 30 minutes in real life time without speeding and skipping parts about this, this video. So 30 minutes is what it took me. It might take a bit more, of course, if you have to complete like having your villagers and everything, but it's fairly easy to get to get your resident service and, and then to, to, to get your three stars. So of course now you're gonna have like a little chit chat between Tamnook and Isabel because KK is gonna come on the island. You <laughs> and look at him calling KK on his private cell phone like I wish I knew like, my idol's number and I could call them like hey I have reached three stars. Are you interested in visiting me? <laughs> and then that's it. On the very next day, you are gonna be waking up to a great news. KK Slider is coming on your island. And by coming on your island, KK is hands unlocking terraforming. And then you'll have to sacrifice all your precious nook mods. So I hope you spared in the meantime, because you're gonna have to spare them to, to get your 
your path and everything that you can buy of course nothing is free in this game <laughs> so that was kind of it i'm gonna leave you on that adorable kk concert and i hope you can enjoy getting three star tell me if you're a speedrunner or not and if you reach three star quite quickly or if you do prefer to take your sweet time and leave let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed and if you want to see how this island is gonna turn out i have so many tutorials in in pipeline for you and don't forget to put a thumbs up bye bye